So I'm finally here with another update for you all after what must be well over a year now. I hope everyone's doing all right with, you know, the last year being such a crazy one with COVID and whatnot. We've been pretty lucky down here in Tassie other than a couple of months of kind of lockdown um, to shake it early on, sort of early last year. It's pretty much been ops normal, so we've been really lucky. You know, I haven't been able to travel much or, you know, go to events and things like that. But other than that, it's actually been fine, really. But yeah, really feeling for you people that have had, you know, these, these multiple waves and, um, you know, lockdowns and things like that. Um, must, must be pretty tough and it looks like more of the same for the next couple of months at least. I have been progressing with the boat pretty well and I'm hoping to have it in the water in the next couple of months. Just haven't really had the time or energy to be making these videos, so I have been posting on Instagram and Facebook occasionally. So I'd recommend following me on those if you kind of want to get more regular updates. Um, but I do plan on getting these, these videos out as often as I can. It's just a matter of, yeah, making it happen, really. I've made the main platform that the stay track will go on, um, which, which the mast rotates around. Um, the armour is almost ready to be painted and finished um, so really it's just a matter of fairing up the main hull and the platform and painting that and then sort of putting all the sailing components on and um, getting out sailing. So yeah I'm really happy with how it's coming along. Um, wife kind of gets in the way occasionally so it's a bit, bit on and off as you can imagine. Just wanted to give a big shout out to Terry Cutcliffe and his brothers at Hyperdrive Go-Karting um, here in Hobart. They've been massive support for us. We moved into a house in early December, but up until that point we've been living on a converted school bus um, based at the back of their business here in Kingston, um, which has just been really good, especially through COVID where you know there were times where we couldn't, couldn't really travel around much in the bus, we sort of had to keep a low profile. Um, and it's just really good to have a base. Uh, there's a big parking lot out the back, so I moved the boat here um, last year, um, so it's just a bit closer and um, managed to get a bit, fair bit of work done. Once I actually get the boat in the water and start sailing, then I'll, I'll plan on putting out a bit more content um, when I'm having a bit, bit more fun <laughs> rather than just slogging away at this build. I'm sure there's people out there that find the build interesting, but it's kind of just not particularly interesting for me to be filming and putting together videos on it. So if anyone does have any questions, then feel free to put a, put them in the comments and I'll make a video at some point sort of ask, answering questions and going through some of the more details. Um, but at this stage, just, yeah, wanted, wanted to give you a bit of an update on where it's at, show you show you some photos and video of, of what I've been doing and um, and go from there. So hopefully I'll see you soon.